Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk UAV video. Woohoo! This is the new Moza Mini Me and we're gonna see if this thing is good or not. Let's go inside. Hello guys and welcome, this is Alex Asmacher to a new We Talk UAV video. And as you saw, we have the Moza Mini Me and you whether love it or hate it, you're gonna see why. There are a few things that are just fantastic, they are really awesome, but there are some other things that really are not so good. This is not paid, so we're gonna say our opinion on this. Let's go inside. <laughs> start this review with telling a little bit what happened with this Moza Mini Me and why you're not seeing an unboxing here. We received this like probably almost two months ago from Goodson. Uh, someone contacted us and they shipped it to us. But the problem was first that we couldn't connect it to any Android phone. And then I tried with an iPhone. It kind of worked, but it wasn't connecting. So it was all hell of a problem. If you've been following our channel, you've seen that we've been using it, but just without the functions and, and without the Bluetooth. So it is truly a good gimbal. This gimbal was uh, released and it was working with all iOS systems for all the iPhones but for Android even though it says Samsung Galaxy on their website this is the S9 and it's not working for the purpose of this video we're gonna use Chivo's phone which is a Huawei P8 Lite a very old phone two-year-old phone and that one is working but be aware of that if you're using Android phones right now they told me they're on the test on Play Me on the Play Store, so it may not be working for you. Let's talk a little bit about the details of this before getting into the real business. 109 US dollars right now on their official website, 543 grams, which means that it is a little bit more, it has more weight than the Osmo Wild 2 and then Smooth 4 or Smooth Q, for example. The battery lasts up to 10 hours and it is charged in 3.5 hours. Chivo is a very social person. Now let's see some cinematic people here working on their basketball. Chivo, go ahead. Just one detail, all the cinematic footage shot with the Minium E is shot with my Samsung S9, not with the Huawei. The Huawei, we're gonna use it later to show you the app a little bit, the functions and all that. Because this one, remember, I cannot connect to the Moza. Let's start with the real review. So, this Mini Me has some problems and mostly like all of the gimbals, it is complicated to connect to your phone. Okay, the first thing you have to do here is not connect it via your Bluetooth inside your phone. The Moza Genie, just remember, Genie, we'll leave you the link in the description anyways. You have to install that app and through that app connect it to your phone, not outside the app. This is very important because you're going to lose time and your patience. So, talking a little bit about um, the gimbal, um, we can see that it has some nice screw holes like here. Can you see that, Chivo? It has one here, one at the bottom, one at the back. So these things are pretty good because you can attach microphones, you can attach LED lights, whatever you want. And this is really, really awesome. It has four of them. For example, here right now we have this little tripod attached, which you can just screw in and it's pretty, pretty helpful. Other than that, uh, it has one button here to press along and you can turn it on and turn it off. Or if you just press it fast, you will turn that into the sleep mode. Like now, you can see it's in the sleep mode. Waking it up again, it turns to the center position. What happened, Alex? I don't know, this is just going crazy. The best thing about the Moza Mini Me and what makes it unique here is the wireless charging. By pressing twice very fast, 
the power button, it will start charging your phone. Why is this important? Because all the gimbals um, until now had a small cable, longer cables around and it was just ugly. Right now, I am charging my phone wirelessly. I'm not gonna get into the detail on how to calibrate this gimbal because you already must know this. It's like all the other gimbals with some knobs, you just put the phone inside. But I want to highlight one thing that happened also on the Smooth 4. And if you come closer, Chivo, can you come closer? Look at the distance I'm leaving here because otherwise my centered camera was, I mean the gimbal was getting into the image and that was not good. So be careful with that too. And of course, Chivo, as you can see here, there is a joystick which makes, you know, rotate the whole thing up and down all the ways you want. What we're missing though is in the back a trigger button which, you know, you know that we love triggers. And we'll show you all the settings throughout these buttons in a second. Now, one of the most useful and funny things here, if you do press the upper button three times, it gets into the inception mode, which means just by using the joystick, you get footage like this. Isn't that amazing, Chivo? You're gonna see a shot now in a second. Well, actually, you have to go like this. Um, and we're gonna film now. Uh, let's, let's use it. Let's see some cinematic with this thing. Another interesting things are the USB ports that the Moza has. And one is this one here at the bottom, which is for charging the whole gimbal via power bank or just connecting it to your wall. And here on top, you have another five volt USB port, which is faster, of course, than the wireless charging for charging directly your phone. So, you know, those kind of details make us always really happy. Vertical shooting, most of you are asking for this. Well, for occasional shots, says Moza, you can do just like this. <laughs> Moza Mini Me solves it like this. For occasional shots, just by holding it like this, you can film vertical, but you know, this is not natural. So all you have to do is turn off the whole thing, loosen the knob here at the back, rotating the whole thing, tighten the knob again. Well, it's supposed to be the other way around, but now you can do the vertical shooting top quality. It was supposed to end up like this. I was just using my phone the other way around, but you know, things that may happen. Gee, well, I think we should be leaving this. I'm scared that they should be stabbing us a knife into the stomach or something. Let's leave Chivo, come on. This is what happens, Chivo, if you don't put it in sleep mode and just take out your phone. Just don't do it. Always sleep mode, guys. Hey, subscribe to our channel. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> we talk UAV channel. Okay. Hey, subscribe to our channel. We talk UAV. Okay, awesome. Right here. Now let's get into the tricky part and the part that took us the most time to learn. I told you that there is no trigger button. This means that all the different modes, locking the yaw, the pitch, the roll, has to be done throughout this, you know, wheel, which are also buttons. So without getting too much into the detail and making this a 50 minute video, um, all locking functions are made throughout a combination of buttons. For example, just an example, uh, the yaw, you can uh, lock it by pressing twice the left button and the pitch, you can lock it or unlock it by pressing it three times. The thing here is that you have to learn all those combinations or you won't be able to do anything at all. So this is very important in the beginning. Then Chivo, if you can come a little bit closer, you see here, it's a status indicator with a LED that turns on and off whether I'm locking or unlocking thing. For example, now the yaw is unlocked and the pitch is also unlocked. So it means that both LEDs are turned on. If both are on, this also means you're in the all unlock mode, which helps you, you know, going left, right, up and down, yaw and pitch and roll. And taking out all two of them makes you lock all locked mode. And as you can see now, it is all locked and whether I'm going up or down, the whole thing stays always in the same position. Lock, 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 lock. Oh, just guys, sorry for using the word lock so much. Chivo was just laughing in my face, but it's okay. If it's in the all locked mode, you can do it manually, you know, putting the thing wherever you want it to film. And also important to highlight, if you press the down button twice, it will recenter always the whole gimbal, as you can see here. If you wanna do the selfie mode by pressing three times the down button, 
it goes into the selfie mode. And if you want a faster sports mode when activating the yaw modus, unlocking the yaw modus, um, it will go very much very faster. The first thing you have to do when installing the Moza Genie app is to calibrate it. And I told you how to connect it via Bluetooth. So calibrate the axis, the yaw, the roll and everything inside the app. And once you've done this, it's pretty much pretty simple to use. You have a button down here, Chivo, I don't know. Can you see this? Yes. Um, for starting the, to record and stopping recording to make a photo. And if you are recording and hit it twice, it takes a photo while you're recording. So this is pretty nice too. The other thing is this wheel here. If you're filming and you're using it, if you're recording, it will start to zoom in and zoom out while you move the wheel. If you want to jump from video to photo just by hitting the up button twice, it will change as you've seen into the photo mode and again back into the video mode. If you just want to see what you just filmed by clicking once the right button, you'll get into this kind of menu, which is a fast uh, video playback and you can see everything that you've been filming and for getting out, you just have to press the right button once again. And now the important part here is you have a settings wheel here. If you click it, you will enter into the tracking mode. By the way, very, very important here, tracking is not working on our Android phones. So it is only working on iOS phones right now. Goodson, I hope that you solve this soon. Um, changing from video to photo and turning around the gimbal. If you want to get into the menu, you just have to click once the upper button and you'll see that you will jump into a menu here where you have, you know, different things. Right now it is in Spanish, thank you Chivo, um, but you can change some different settings on the phone. You can get here into the professional mode and if you enter this, there are a few things that you can change. For example, the white balance, get into manual mode, you know, the aperture, if your phone allows this. This is very important because Chivo's phone is not allowing this. I know, uh, for example, the new iPhone 10, you can change the aperture, the ISO. So this will depend entirely on your phone. So guys, before finishing this video, just to mention and highlight that we've been using this now for, I don't know, three hours, a bit more, and it's really hot. The thing is, just this part of the gimbal here, Chivo, is getting hot. The arms not really, and the gimbal, I mean, the grip is not getting hot, but this part, yes, I mean, it's the one working the most here, so it's fair. Guys, this has been the review, the in-depth review of the Moza Mini Me, and we're very, very happy with it. It has a few things very unique and nice, like the wireless charging, the inception mode was great, and all the cinematic that you've seen in this video shot with this was pretty, pretty awesome. So we're pretty happy, I have to say that. It has a few things that we don't like at all. For example, not working on Android phones, guys, please. But I know that you will be solving this good sin, so we're expecting this. Overall, a very, very nice and you know, easy to carry thing, very easy in your back. And we're gonna be using this quite a lot for now. So guys, we're here for you. Remember to leave always a like for Chivo's camera work, for us here getting toasted in the sun. And the comments, any questions on the Moza or anything else, leave it, write it down, we'll answer. And nothing really else to say, guys. Always remember to keep calm and talk UAV.